I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Mahjong competition rules. This is also known as Chinese official. If you want to know more about it, look for information in the video description below. There's also a link to this player reference. There are 81 scoring elements. So when you're learning how to play, this could really be helpful. It has for me. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player 1 will get 14 tiles. Players 2, 3, and 4 will get 13 each. Then we're going to look at each player's hand, see if we can identify some scoring elements. We have to have eight fawn to qualify to win. That's why this is such an important reference. You can learn the scoring elements so that you make sure you have those eight fawn. Everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for player one, also known as East. For this player, we have a lot of cracks. We do have one bam, two, three, two, three. We do have Lots of chow potential here. I think we should play a half flush with a valued honor. Maybe the dragon. I think maybe I would keep the 2-3 because there is a slight potential for mixed double chow. 1-2-3 in two suits. We would need a lot of score elsewhere though. I think I would start by discarding the six bam and try to hold cracks and honors. Half flush with a valued honor. We might be able to do a pure straight if we get a five crack, eight and nine crack. Pure straight is number 28, 16 fawn. Half flush is six fawn. Let's see what we can do for player two, also known as South. They have mostly BAMs. Five, seven, a three, dots, cracks. Here we have a pair of West Wind and a Flower. A four flower. The number for MCR doesn't matter. It's just the fact that they have a flower that will be a bonus point. So we'll put that out and get a replacement. Four dot. Since we have a three, three five, four five, I think I would discard the seven first and see if we can maybe do mixed triple chow or a half flush with BAMs. The west is not our seat, and east is the wind of the round, so we won't get score for a pair of west. I think that's what I would do here. Let's see what we can do for player three, also known as west. Let's exchange the flower. We 
we have a pair of eights with cracks, a pair of sevens with dots, a pair of sevens with bams. I'm wondering if we could maybe do all simples, double pung. However, if we get the right tiles, we could do mixed triple chow with six, seven, eight, or five, six, seven. We have a seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, six, seven, five, seven. So for our first discard, I think I would discard the north. Work on number tiles, two through eight. If we pair up again, we could maybe do all pung. All pung is number 49, and that is six fawn. All simples is number 68, that's two fawn. That would get us to the minimum. All simples, all pung, maybe. Let's see what we can do for player four, also known as north. Oh, pair of east. Wind of the round. There's pair, pair, pair. One, two, three, four, pair. I'd play all pung. All pung, wind of the round. All pung, wind of the round. That would get us our eight fawn. We do have avoided suit because we have no bams. So that would be another fawn. So I think that's what I would do there. So we're going to start by discarding. Six bam for east. Here we'll draw two bam keeper. Let's get rid of seven dot. Now up here we have to decide what to do. We could pung. Let's go ahead and pung and play all simples, all pung, double pung. So we have a seven out, seven there. Let's hold the seven. Let's get rid of the north. So we have all simples right now. We're going to draw up here. Three bam. We'll keep avoided suit. Nobody can take the three bam, so we'll draw. Nine bam. They have avoided suit too. Nobody can take nine bam, so we'll draw. Flower. Eight bam, that's a keeper. Potential half flush here. Let's go ahead and get rid of these tiles. We have chow potential in here. Pung potential, chow potential. There's a chow right there. One, two, three, four. All we need is a pair. Let's get rid of three crack. Three crack, nobody can take it, so we're gonna draw. Green dragon, we want simples. We're gonna throw green dragon, and nobody can take it. Flower. One crack, we want to pair up. We have a pair here, we'll pung hopefully. Pung here, pung here and here. So let's go ahead. Let's discard nine dot. Oh, you know what? Terminal pung. These could bring uh, value if we pair up and pung. Let's get rid of a two crack. Terminal pung is one fawn. If we pair those up, we still need a pair in here. So uh, two crack, nobody can take it. This player could take it for a chow. And then maybe chow here and here. We already have a chow though. Potential pung, potential chow. I think I'd rather draw and stay concealed. Red dragon, that could be a valued pung. So, 
let's discard nine dot. We'll go for half flush here and we can draw six crack. Nobody can take it. Now this player could chow, but I want to do pungs. We need score. Four crack. You know what? There is a scoring element called upper tiles. Seven, eight, nine, or even upper four, six through nine. Let's get rid of these little numbers. Four crack. Upper four is number 36, and that's 12 fawn. Upper tiles is seven, eight, nine. That's number 25, 24 fawn. We have a six here. Let's see if we can do upper, upper tiles. Let's draw. Four crack was discarded. We could pung. Let's pung. Pung. Two dot. Up here, we can pung. So we're going to pung here, maybe. If we can pair up and pung. A nine dot was thrown, though. Let's discard three dot. We could still pair up. So we're going to draw south. Let's get rid of three dot. And we'll draw north. Single honor, but it can help us get to a half flush. Let's discard four dot. And we'll pung. Let's go ahead and discard nine dot. We still need a pair in here. Nine dot was discarded. We're going to draw east. Oh, single. Let's get rid of the six dot. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw. We need bams or pair these up. Eight dot. That's not helpful. Eight dot. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw. North. We want simples. North. Single. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw. Five dot. One dot. Two crack. This is a chow. Nobody can take it. We'll draw. We want big numbers. Green dragon. Discard. No honors. All simples, really. Let's draw. Single dragons. Seven. We want to pung. Pung, pung. This could bring value. None are out. Let's discard six crack. If we pair this up, we could get a fawn out of a terminal pung. So six crack, nobody can take it. That was the last town on the second wall. So we're going into the middle game. Hopefully everybody knows where they're going to get their eight fawn at a minimum. Here we're playing a half flesh value to honor. Hopefully we can pair up here or here. Here we're playing half flesh valued honor. Straight flesh maybe if we can get a nine bam, seven bam. Here we're playing upper tiles, all simples. Maybe, maybe all pung. Up here we're playing all pung, valued on our terminal pung. Keeper, three crack. 
we have a pung of fours out. So let's break off these honors that don't bring value to east, which would be west for one. West. Here will pung. Pung. Five dot. Drawing for west. Red dragon. Nobody can take it. Two bam. Flower. Eight bam. Here we can pung. Okay, there's a chow, potential chow. We need value. That's their seed dragon. We need to pair one of these up or switch to maybe, nope, that's what we have to do. We need to pair up and pung north. We need these to have our eight fawn minimum. Nine crack. Nine crack. If we're going to do upper four, that's enough score. We can use maybe the nine. Let's discard these little tiles. Three bam. We'll see if we can do upper, upper four. Let's draw. Five dot. Six bam. Nine bam. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. If we had that a little earlier, we might have been able to do a pure straight, but we can't we don't have a seven bam. Now all the eights are out. There's one more eight left. I think I would rather hmm. There's a nine bam out. Let's discard the nine bam. We need to get two more fawn in here. Let's draw south. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw one dot. One bam. They already have a chow. Three bam. Okay, one, two, three. Either way here, they need a four. We need to pair up and pung one of these for extra value. Half flush is only six fawn. So we need, we need two more fawn somewhere. One, two, three, three, four. What about, um, yeah, I, don't, I, I think it's too late to try for like a pure double chow or something like that. I think we need to discard the three bam. We need to pair up the dragon or the south and a south was thrown. There's two green dragons out. They may need to switch to defense in, unless they can get their wind. Let's draw flower. South. So they have no hope now. They should just play defense. They have no way to get score because their seat wind is out. Unless they draw an east, there are two green dragons out. Seven bam. Here we can pung. Pung. They have a double pung showing. Let's get rid of the four bam. Flower. Six crack. We need to pair up. We already got rid of a six crack. We have six seven here. 
four man. I, I don't think I would take it here. We have a Pung of West, a Pung of Eight. They don't have enough score. One, two, three, four, five, six is a short straight. One fawn, half flush, short straight. That's only seven fawn. You know what? If we self pick, our weight could bring us an extra fawn. Let's chow. Self pick, self pick, edge weight, closed weight. We might be able to get a fawn from our weight. So let's discard those or expose those, not discard. Let's get rid of Green Dragon. We need another BAM here for a single weight. We need to get another fawn because we have a half flush short straight. That's seven fawn. Our weight is gonna help us there. Let's draw. Let's see, Green Dragon was thrown. One crack, we need big numbers. One crack. Nine bam. Nine, there are two out. Six dot. Okay, we need a bam. White dragon. Let's throw south. There are two out. Drawing. Seven crack. We could do triple pong. Let's get rid of six dot. Okay. Half flush. Single weight. We could actually have them win on all. A half flush is six. Short straight is seven. Single weight is eight. So they did make it. We discarded a six dot here. It's this player's turn. Nine dot. Five crack. Okay, that's helpful. We need to, oh, green dragon is out. Maybe we need to have them push for a full flush. South will be a good discard too. They might be able to do a full flush. Full flush is number 22, and that's 24 fawn. Six bam. Let's not have them wait on an honor. White dragon, nobody can take it. So now they're on a single weight, six bam to win. There are two out. That might not have been the best idea, but I have been told to not be waiting on an honor because you may never get it. We'll see. Let's draw. Five crack. We want, we want upper tiles. Five crack. Nobody can take it. Four bam. Right here. White dragon. That was just thrown. We need a BAM. Six dot. Oh, there's a chow out with a six. We need another BAM. That Discarding that white was a bad choice. There's already six BAMs out in a chow and two discards. So we need to swap that out. Let's draw. Two dot. Four BAM. One dot. We need a BAM or an honor. A dot. Nope, not helpful. North. Nine dot. Red dragon. Oh, they got a valued pair there. Let's get rid of south. Last tile, third wall, five crack.
Okay, it's this player's turn. We're in the end game now. This player is the only one ready to win. This player is one away from ready. This player is, they have upper tiles, potential, triple pung. Triple pung is number 32, 16 fawn. They are three away probably here. They're one away from ready. I would play to win for everybody. Drawing for West. Nine crack. Upper tiles. Five bam. We can pung, pung, pung. We can have any one of these be the pair. I'd like to pung here because then we would have triple pung. Okay. Five bam. Nobody can take it. We'll draw. Five dot. Eight dot. Bam. Five bam. How many five bams are out? One. Two. We're going to discard six bam. And now they're able to win on a five bam. There's There are two out. Two five bams are out for a single weight. Three crack. That's a little number. Let's discard eight dot though. We'll get rid of the three later. East. Pung. Okay, now we need pungs in here. So let's discard one crack at this point. We still need a pair in here. We have two pungs in a different suit out. All pung is six, seven, eight. There's a chow. But you don't want to chow and mix suits with pungs in another suit. We have, we're going for all pung here. We still need a pair. Let's draw down here. One crack was thrown. Five crack. There's a chow. Chow. Potential chow. Pair. Let's discard east. They're ready to win on a four crack. So that east, we're going to Kong. Kong, that's a fawn. One bam. So they have, we're, we need to pung and then pair up. One bam was thrown, eight crack, pair. If we discard the three, we'll have be waiting on a double weight, potentially red dragon. We do need, we need that red dragon because we need two fawn. We have a half flesh dragon pung. There's one red dragon out. Let's discard three crack. Drawing four south, four dot. Drawing four west, two bam. Drawing for north, one bam. Drawing for east, self pick mahjong on our dragon. Wow, that was a surprise. So they have a half flesh dragon pung self pick win. So we'll put this here. They have a pung. That's a pretty hand. And a flower. So Half flesh dragon pung. Half flesh 
is number 50, six fawn. Dragon Pung is two, that's eight. Self pick number 80, that's one, so that's nine. We have one, two, three, pair of five, six, seven, eight, Pung. I don't think they're gonna get anything else. There's no pattern here for more score. We're mixing chows and pungs that are far apart. So half flesh, dragon pung, self pick, flower, ten fawn. That kind of took me by surprise, and I have to remember that your weight can bring extra score. If you haven't downloaded this player reference, download this so that you can memorize the scoring elements. If you'd like to play online, try Mahjong Time. Look for my email in the video description below. I can send you a 30-day VIP code. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire, for Mahjong competition rules, may all your picks be keepers.